Hello, interwebs. Welcome, welcome to. See, I messed it up because I did something different. I mean, it's it's not a bad thing to go off the norm. Sometimes you gotta do that. It just sometimes it's like, oh crap, this is way different, and you mess it up. It happens to me all the time. So S screwed it up. I screwed it up. Oh no. Burgers. Hello, interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations. My name is Skinny Minnie. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, we nailed Horace Knightley in his own game of chess. So, we found out that he was the idiot who killed um, Rook, that jerk. So, um, we solved that case. Nicole got off scot-free. And, um, well, sort of, not scot free She actually, you know, is held accountable for her actions in taking part of the fake assassination. But, everything's good. I mean, it's somewhat happy ending, but Edgeworth's like, no, no, the game's not finished because the killer still left his calling card and he is not finished with whatever he's got to do. So, we're starting the next next turnabout, excuse me, the next case, which is turnabout, the imprisoned turnabout, I think you said? That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and save, which is yes, right now. I lifted up my controller and pressed the button. I don't know why. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. All right. Ooh. Okay. In prison turnabout. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Confirm. All right. Dark alley streets thing. Is it alley? I don't know. Tingling. Ding ding. ding Tingling. Ding ding. ding ding. Oh. I'm scared. Heck. Uh. Oh. What the hell. Uh, what the heck? Whoa! Oh! Whoa! What? Well, are you happy now? <laughs> uh, well, I guess the killer came and killed him. Who's best of delights? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Poor. Nope, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, is that a dog? Roof. Whoa. Oh my god, do we have to defend a dog? I, oh, that'd I be don't so know. <laughs> oh, that makes my heart sad. Alright. March 27th, the day before my sister's birthday. Ah! <laughs> He's not coming. He's not coming, sir. How long does he intend to keep us waiting? Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth, there's no need to get your cravat in a twist. Ethan Rook's murder. Two days after the incident, we visited the detention center. Naturally, we were hoping to meet the defendant, Horace Knightley. His trial was at the beginning of the next day, with me serving as a prosecutor. Still, he is rather late. You there, do you know what's going on? Uh, um, it is certainly strange. I'll try calling him right now. Oh, it's terrible. It's nightly. He's been murdered. What? What? What did you say? Murdered? Inside of the, the detention center. Mr. Edgeworth, let's go check it out. You there. Take us to the crime scene. Post haste. Yes, sir. Do it. So, oh, run. I just realized something. Is this the first time I actually... In the detention center. Holy crap, yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Knightley's not in his cell? I thought he was being held there. What are you doing, sir? This way! <laughs> Can you imagine he's walking? He's like, uh. He's like, what, what the hell are these guys going? <laughs> what, where are you taking us, pal? Through this door is the. Uh... Ah, uh, it's the prison. Prison? Then over those small rooms back there. Those cells were just passed, uh, that we just passed, a part of the detention center. They use for holding suspects temporarily while they await their trial. What lies ahead is a facility that serves a completely diff different purpose. This is where criminals who have been declared guilty serve out their sentence, pal. It's the one place a great thief does not want to end up, Kay. I'm opening the door now. Please follow me.
Oh. Whoa, what? Uh. I mean. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. Uh. There's no mistaking it. Knightley's. Dead! Moreover, he was. <laughs> He was murdered inside the prison walls. How exactly did- <laughs> What? I don't know why you said it like that. Dead! Uh, you know, dead. Oh, God. How exactly did this happen? Just in case you guys forgot the time and place, here we are. <laughs> just in case. Just, you know, just in case. Yep. I, I can't believe something like this would happen to Mr. Knightley! Yes, I can't believe it either. But the scene you see before you is an unmistakable reality. Besides, wasn't Mr. Knightley supposed to be in the detention center? Indeed, he was. Knightley hadn't had his trial yet. Before a suspect is found guilty, they're detained in the detention center's holding cells. They only enter the prison after they re received a guilty verdict. Knightley should not have been moved in here. Do you think he passed through those giant doors that we went through earlier, sir? Huge metal doors and a long passageway separate the prison and the, and the detention center. As a suspect, Knightley wouldn't have been able to pass through. Yeah. Oh, wait. Here's pre- oh, wait. Oh, oh, I wanted to look at it, but whatever. We can go through the organizer and look at it real quick. Okay, it's the floor plans. Okay, it looks like there are doors. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so it's like passageway and then cell. Uh oh, if he was in the prison, there's like a couple doors in that blue room and then that green room. Uh, excuse me, and then there. Oh. Oh, there's a, there's a whole play, whole other page for the prison. Oh. Uh oh. Cell, cell, cell. Okay, we passed those. Because right right now we're in workroom A. Okay, and I remember that circle thing that had a bunch of rocks in it with some chains on it, which looked weird. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, then, okay, all right, cool. Let's go back. Okay. What happened to Knightley? In order to solve this mystery, we must first investigate the crime scene. Sweet. All right, let's look. Let's, uh, I guess I... I'm stepping on the orange striped flag. Uh, where? Which one? The one on Nightly or the one by itself? On the one on Nightly. On Nightly, okay. Salmon. Horace Nightly, murdered right before his trial. Let me take a closer look. Oh, okay. I guess now the actual orange and white thing. Okay. He's covered with a dirty sheet. There's a rope on the top of the sheet. Was not they tied up with this rope? Huh. Okay. Let's take a look under the sheet. We might be able to find something. Ah! Oh god, sorry, it scared me. <laughs> uh, yikes! This sheet is bright red! These appear to be bloodstains. Okay. We still might be able to find something. Let's search this area a little more closely. Okay, well, I see a checkerboard. Ah, oh, crap. I clicked on... I don't know what I clicked on. Oh, what? what is it? You, oh. it's, like, it's like, ah, the blood... It's from K. The blood stain from his neck has stained his brace bright red. Oh, did you click on his brace? I think I just clicked on his bo... I think I just clicked on his body. Okay. Ugh! The blood from his neck has stained his brace bright red. The cause of death was most likely from his neck wound. He probably died instantly. He couldn't even cry out in pain. Hmm? There's small bumps on his head. Are these bruises? Maybe after he was stabbed in the neck, he fell back and hit his head? I wonder. At this point in time, there are too many unknowns. Okay, do you, do you have your digital camera with you? I'd like this detective to take a photo of the body. Would you let him borrow it? Sure thing! Here, Gummy! Thanks, pal! Alright, I'm taking a picture, sir. Still, he's wearing some awfully dirty clothes. Hmm. There, these, there appears to be dirt stains in several places. Hmm. I 
penetrating wound in her neck, died instantly covered in dirt instead of small bruises on his head. He's wearing the, those dirty those clothes even when they're dirty. He's just like me, sir! Detective, I hope you realize that not everyone shares your lack of hygiene. Oh. Ew. Okay. Uh, now the checkerboard thing or whatever. Huh? What's this? This Edgeware has something similar in his office. It's a portable chessboard. It was probably the victim's. Ah! Mr. Knightley enjoyed chess, right? He was probably using it to pass time in the detention center. Hmm. Does okay. it open? Um. Let me look at it. Can you organize it? Oh, yeah, it? I can check it. Oh. Da, 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 da. oh nice. Examine. Just flip. You can open it from there. Hurry up and open it! Why are you getting so excited? What are you saying? Doesn't everyone get excited when they're about to open a box? I think that probably applies to you only. No, uh, I, I get uh, excited. No. That's wrong with you. <laughs> even, when, even when I know it's in there, woo you, know, you still get anything. It's the enjoyment, like, ah. Uh. Like, Amazon? Uh, God bless oh, Amazon. Oh my god. Yes. Hey, look, these look like the pieces from my logic. I mean, my logic chess. Oh. Right, examine. Uh, okay. These are chess pieces, right? I saw something similar in your office, Mr. Edgeworth. Huh? But the pieces are black and white. Those are the correct colors. My pieces were custom made. Custom made? That sounds like a treasure to me. My eyes are sparkling. Does she intend to steal it? <laughs> I really want an animation of that now. It's like, she's like trying to steal his chess pieces, and then he's in there like, No! <laughs> Mine! Uh, um, I think that's it. Right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go back then. What else can we take a look at? Uh, this glove that got some dirt on it. That's nasty. A glove? Oh, that pink thing? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was a glove. <laughs> What'd you think it was? This is a rubber <laughs> glove. <laughs> the wrong color, rubber. Ha ha! Ha! That's jokes. A, that's way too big. Yes! There's no mistake, it's a rubber glove. How come there's only one? Because that's all we do. Shut up! <laughs> we are adults! We are adults! Ahem. <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Edgeworth, no! Uh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Is there blood on it? Oh, there's blood on it. Whoa, what the heck? What does that say? Blood! Or... <laughs> What'd you oh. click on? I clicked on the blood. Okay. The fingers of the glove are covered in blood. The glove is dropped after the pool of blood formed. Eh, why is that? If it was on the floor be before the pool of blood had formed, the blood would have formed on an outline around the glove. Ah, I see. The blood would have only gotten on the edges of the glove. This glove was discovered after it was covered in blood. That must mean the killer left it behind! Indeed, it's highly probable. At the very least, the person who dropped this saw the body. You then! What is it, sir? Do you recognize this glove? Well, yes, sir! The inmates use these for prison labor! That's odd. Rubber gloves were usually kept in the inmates' rooms. They're strictly regulated, so you can't just take them out! Indeed, there are no signs of any ru other rubber gloves in the room. Huh. Oh, there's more? Um, okay. Let's look at his hand. I, it looks like there's something in there. It may just be his finger, but we'll see. The right one? The left. Yeah, the right one. His right. Oh, there is! Yeah, his right. Okay. Hmm? There's something on his, on his finger. Let's have a closer look. Oh, it looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. Dang it. What? What? I didn't do anything yet. Well, how she says yet. <laughs> what, is that not important? Uh, I'm gonna re-examine it just in case. Just in a 
his finger. Is that a closer to look? Odd. I guess we can't do anything with it yet. Okay, um, I guess... Whoa, that was weird. Kay just, like, turned around and looked at me when I backed out. That was kind of scary. Oh, you backed okay. out enti uh, entirely? Yeah. Um, uh, I want to look at this pulley thing, because that's where the rope and stuff is. Pulley thing? Oh. Yeah, this thing. Oh. Oh. We won't rest until we've stolen every suspicious looking nook and cranny. <laughs> it, indeed. It's quite a large area to investigate. Press the Y button to switch screens. I won't rest until I inspected every suspicious nook and, <laughs> nook and cranny. Oh my god, the fact that he even like agreed with what she said, yes. And just didn't say anything about it. I'm like, Edward, are you sure that's okay? Yeah, I mean, that's, it shows he wasn't paying attention to what she was saying. Of course. Okay, um, examine the pulley, of course. Okay. Hmm. It's a pulley. Is that used for prison labor, too? It looks like it. There's something I want to ask you. Don't even think about dangling on the hook. Uh, how did you know that's what I wanted to do? Somehow I had a feeling. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, about the ca- uh, <gasps> Hey! What? This cave has the blood on it. Oh, are, did you go down? No, no, no. On the, it's on the top screen, but it's on that lock thing. The lock thing? I don't know if you could... Even on the right of that cage thing? On the right of the cage thing? What are you looking uh, at? Okay, go to the top screen. Yes. And then, and then, uh, there's that cage. Mm-hmm. Look at to the right of the cage, you know, where you can open it. There's like oh, a you... little red stain on it. Oh, you mean right underneath the keyhole? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is a keyhole. Sorry, the blue line was over it. I couldn't see it. Oh. Sorry. Oh. It's a cage inside the cage that is a prison. It's like cageception. I believe the correct term is prison cell. They're the same thing. You need to look more at the essence. You need to look at. You need to look more at the essence of things. Actually, it's more important to get the correct information. Oh well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. All right. Oh, well. Um. Is that a whip? I guess examine the whip. Why would there be a whip here? Um, oh nope. Oh, never mind. Those are some colorful sheets. <sighs> They're the most eye-catching thing in this room. They don't fit in with the prison. There's a whip placed on top of the sheets. It reminds me of the whip lady. Maybe she left her whip here? Hmm. I doubt she'd ever leave her whip behind. Ah! Uh, false! What is it? Justice for all. The end of justice. Sorry. Okay, spoilers. How dare you. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I, <laughs> I guess the rope now? There was a rope near the body as well. By the way, my special talent... If it's about rope escapes, there's no need for that now. No. Does she want to show it off that badly? It's K. Yes, Edward. Um, okay. I don't... Oh. Is the pulley thing? No, I don't know if... It's not. We already examined that. Um... Should we back oh. out? Oh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, logic. Oh, yeah. Because we got the bloody sheet and the stack sheets. Connect! Yeah. D da. Connect! Boom! <laughs> the sheets stacked here have a very distinctive pattern. It's the same as the bloodstained sheet. Uh, that's right. Kay, don't steal my lines like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you shouldn't get caught off guard like that. I'll never lose my edge as the great thief. I thought she was on hiatus. Okay, so we got that data. I don't know why we needed to do logic for that, but sure. Uh, it's like, we need logic in this game, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Put it in there! <laughs> <laughs> well... 
We've collected quite a bit of, quite a bit of evidence. <laughs> With the three of us here, it's a piece of cake. Right, Gummy? That's right, pal. We're the Invincible Trio. It's too early to start celebrating. There's still something we haven't found yet. Eh? What haven't we found yet, sir? The murder weapon. What is missing from this crime scene? Just as you said. Uh, <laughs> oh, the murder weapon. The murder weapon that took the victim's life has not been found yet. Eh? Now you mention it, you're absolutely right, sir. Detective, get your act together. Isn't that the most basic of the basics? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Gummy. I didn't notice it either. That's not much of a con consolation. Is in this prison, dangerous objects that could be used as weapons are strictly regulated. It'd be quite dangerous if the inmates got their hands on them. Obtaining a murder weapon and carrying it around is not an easy task. I see. You have a point. What was the murder weapon? And where did it go? That could be the key to solving this case. <clears throat> you know who this is? I'll give you a hint. <clears throat> huh? Their visitor is here already? <gasps> ah! Sorry to ah! barge in like this. Is this the crime scene? You're! Huh? You... Aren't you... <laughs> that piercing gaze? That furrowed brow? It's been a long time. Mr. Shields. Oh, I thought it was Dan from Game Grump. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, honestly, it's him. It is. I, That's I, so Dan Danny. <laughs> that is so Danny. <laughs> I think people told him to, like, if you ever do cosplay, you need to be Raven Shields. And it's like... Oh, my God. Okay, this is a character that you voice in our team turnabout thing. That's correct. So the thing is, I'm blind at some some point to this game. I know characters from this game uh, because of our team turnabout thing. But, so, you, but you don't know them, like, officially in the game. Yeah, I don't know who they are or what they play. Okay. So. This should be fun This for is going to be interesting. So, yay! You get to do your Raven Shield voice. Yay! Which is kind of like some other voices I do. But, uh... It's right. And they're... Every, yes, you know, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, that frilly thing around your neck and that stiff greeting. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Hug him. Prosecutor Manfred Von Karma. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you saying, pal? Miss Edgeworth's not that old man. Detective, it's fine. Oh, it's you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I thought you looked a bit young. <laughs> you two are so similar. Looks like your Uncle Ray got you two mixed up again. You never change. How many years has it been since we last saw each other? Hmm. I've already forgotten. Your Uncle Ray has been overseas these past few years. But, you know, there's something I still haven't forgotten. About you. And your betrayal. Uh, oh, oh, hell. Edgeworth, what'd you do now? <laughs> Or this time. <laughs> uh, I'm getting some bad vibes over here. Do you know this guy, Mr. Edgeworth? Allow me to introduce you to him. Raymond Shields, attorney at law. <laughs> Ace attorney Ray Shields at your service. I'm pleased to meet Make your acquaintance. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. Hey, Faraday. Nice to meet you. I'm a great thief. Uh, but I'm currently on hiatus. Great thief! Well, well! That sounds romantic! How wonderful! Oh! Mr. Shields, you get it, right? I'm currently recruiting new members. The registration forms are easy to fill out. That's splendid! Oh, Gray would love to join your little gang! I'm sorry, but we're only accepting bright, cheerful, and energetic girls. I see. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Well, how about a hug then? As a sign of affection. No. I guess not. <laughs> this isn't Europe, after all. What? Mr. Shields, first off, that's disgusting. <laughs> what, what are you doing here? Oops. Oh, that's right. Sorry, sorry. 
Uh, preventing the attorney from investigating the crime scene is the Von Karma way, isn't it? Uh. Hey! You've been going on about Von Karma this and Von Karma that! What's your problem, pal? Hold it! Detective, rest, restrain yourself! This... can't be helped. Ah! Eh? Mr. Shields? Are you the defense attorney for Horace Knightley? That's right! Or should I say, I was his defense attorney. Mr. Shields is the defense attorney. If Knightley had not been murdered, I would have been going up against him in court. Oh, Shields did it. I should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Wouldn't you be devastated if that's the case? I'd be sad. Um, okay. I think we'll listen to him in the next episode, because... Yeah. He, he's a talker, so we're gonna... Just based on what I've been doing. Pretty much. And if you need me to take over for Edgeworth, if Ray's gonna be talking a lot more, I don't. I can do that. Well, I, well, we'll see. I mean, uh, the types of voices I do for Edgeworth and Ray, they're more toned down. They're not hoarse for my voice. Uh, mm -hmm. It's when I do, like, Gumshoe's voice extensively or somebody with a gruff or deep voice. That's where my voice is gonna start killing me, but... Bradworth and Ray, I think I might be okay, but I'll definitely let you know, regardless. Okie dokie. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, and if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. See ya! Round and round we go. Merry go round. Mr. Shields. Uh oh. And Kay's gonna get dizzy and throw up. This isn't Metal Gear Solid 3. Dang it! <laughs>